stitchy friends welcome to cross my stitches my name is Jackie and today is January 14th 2020 it is a Tuesday it is extremely cloudy and rainy out today so I'm trying to shoot a video and I know the quality isn't going to be that great because there's no light in the we in this house so I'm sitting in my craft room so at least you get to look at a few stitchy things going on here <laughs> while you're sitting here listening to me welcome to everyone thank you so much for stopping by and and Checking out my video today and seeing what I'm working on. I greatly appreciate it. Lots of new subscribers again. Thank you so much for subscribing to my videos. I know everybody's loving the tutorial videos, so that is what's drawing people in and I will be doing more. I have several more planned, including the stocking one that has been asked for many, many times. I will get to it. I will make it. Um, it will not be with an actual st stitch stocking though because I don't have one stitch so we're gonna have to do like a mock-up So I'm just want to make sure that I got whatever fabric I'm using is going to be basically stuff I'm gonna have to throw away because I Once I stitch it together, that'll be it So I want to make sure that I have the right stuff and so that you guys get the gist of how I did it So I will get that up. I promise um, Lots of stuff going on. I have an F.O. Not an FFO, that almost came out of my mouth, but no, <laughs> I have an FO, which I'm very proud of, and lots of whips, and let's see, what else? I have a couple of things to show you in. I got a stitchy gift, and I purchased one thing. So I did join the um, Stitch Your Stash 2020 Facebook group. Um, I don't know the exact right name. I will post that up here. And uh, that was my plan. My plan is, once again, to try to stitch from my stash. I've given myself a $25 a month budget in case I need floss or something that I need that I don't have on something that I'm working on or I want to work on. And the great thing about this Facebook group is you get credit for finishes. So it's great because then you get extra money for every finish. You get so much money and it depends on the stitch count. So. Uh, if you get a moment, go check it out. I, I really like the, the concept of it because I've already gotten with my new finish. I have my $25 for this month. I've spent under six for so far, so I'm at 19 and I got $17 for my finish, so I'm going to add that in. So, and this, and it, you can roll it. If you're not using it, you can roll it. And uh, I think it's going to work out great. I don't need, I don't need anything else. I want things, but I certainly don't need anything else because I do have quite a bit, even though I don't have some of the stash accumulated, like some people I know that have mountains of patterns and stuff because they've been collecting since the 80s or the 90s. I happen to have lost all my stuff. Um, and I won't go into what happened, but um, I lost all my stuff, had to start all over again in 2017. So um, I don't have a ton of stuff, but I still have, between 2017 and 2020, I have accumulated some stuff. And in fact, I actually went and pulled out all my fabrics and I reorganized my fabrics by size. And I, if anything had a measurement that wasn't correct or it didn't have a measurement, I put new measurements on all my little packages and stapled a piece of paper onto each fabric to show me what it was and what size it is. So when I'm looking for fabrics, I'm not going nuts. Because most times the first thing I look at is what size. That's how I decide what's going, what I'm going to use for a thing. I decide what size I want my design to be. And then I will go and look and see if I have fabric that matches that. And if I don't, and I have an idea in my head on what I want to use, it's either I have white fabric and maybe I can dye it to where I want. Or maybe I have in the next size, if I'm talking about 28 and I'm looking in 28s and I don't see what I want, um, I can go to 32, it'll be a little smaller and maybe something in there I will like. So I do it that way. Um, I go by size first. If I'm looking at maybe doing an ornament, which we're gonna talk about ornaments here in a little bit, um, I look at what size it is. So it's a four by four ornament and I feel like that's too big. I want to get it down to a three by three. I may end up stick stitching it on 36 count. Then I'll go in my 36 count and see what I have that'll work for me. So it's great to have that all organized. It's in like little, here I'll show you. I have, I use these 
final bags you get, you know, a lot of people have seen this, but see, I write on them. So I have like three of these bags that say 30, 32 count. These are my 32 count bags and they're full of fabric. And I have like three of those. And then my 36 and 40 are in actually zip, zipper bags, ziplock bags, because I don't have a ton of that. And then my 28 is actually in a little, I think it's like a nine by nine, one of those folding bins that folds up. So it's all in there. So that's how I'm keeping it. So that's not a lot of ton of fabric. See, I don't have a ton. And uh, so it just makes it a lot easier for me to go and grab my three little, if I want 32 or I want 28, just grab what I need, pull it out and start looking and figuring out what I want to use. So the reason I got rolling in all this stuff was because I decided I was going to do um, ornaments for my May Mania. I'm going to do 20 ornaments, one a day, first 20 days, I'm going to start those. I'm probably going to start ornaments before then, but that's my choice for May is to do 20 ornaments. It makes it a lot easier to control your whips when you have ornaments that only take two, three, four days to complete than starting all these big pieces in, in May and then trying to get them done before the end of the year. So that kind of drives me nuts and I get overwhelmed, but I like the ornaments and there's so many just adorable ornaments and not just Christmas ornaments. So I'll do any kind of small, so any kind of small I consider an ornament. So small pillows, small hanging, whatever. If it's small, if it's under five by five, then I consider that an ornament or a small and uh, it's gonna be part of my mania and part of my year. And in fact, I will, when I get to that point, I'll show you some of the things that I'm going to be working on and where I got the patterns from. So we'll talk about that further down. So, and I'm gonna stop right now and say, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is about cross stitch. <laughs> that's all we talk about here is cross stitch, cross stitch. So um, that's what we're talking about. So anyway, let's let's roll back a little bit before I get so involved in all these things rolling through my head that I lose track of how I want to do this. So the first thing I want to do is talk about my finish. So let's talk about that. So this pattern is Glendon Place Stand for Freedom. It is a limited edition 2018 market release. It came as a kit. It came with 28 count bramble linen and it came with sulky threads. So this is one of the, in 2018, silky threads were just starting to be used in patterns. So um, Cheryl from Glendon Place put it in this particular kit and I love the kit, so I had to get it. Um, if you don't remember back in 2018, kneeling at the football games was a, was a huge deal and it caused a lot of controversy and then Cheryl came out with this pattern and I loved it and I had to have it. So here's my finish. And as you can see, I did not put the buttons in yet because um, I'm going to roll this up in my needle work roll and I don't want the buttons to press into this fabric or the other fabrics that are in that roll. So I'm going to leave it and put them on right before I frame it. I probably will not frame it for at least a couple months because I really don't have the money right now to do the framing and I don't have a frame for it. And I have one that I have in mind that I want to get. And I am thinking it's on one of the websites, maybe customframing.com, maybe. I can't remember. But it's on a website. I really loved it. It has, um, it's a wood grain, but it has the stars and stripes um, molded into it. So it's really, really nice. And that I think is the frame I want to use for that. I'm so thrilled to have that finish. And of course I got $17 from Stitch Your Stash for that. So I'll add the $17 to my 19 and um, so I'm glad that that's done and that I have that. I also, that was a part of uh, Cheryl McKinney's um, Daily 30 Scavenger Hunt for this year. So I was able to get that done for the Scavenger Hunt as well. So thank you, Cheryl, for coming up with that idea. It really pressed me to get that done so I could I could hit all the prompts and, and get it finished. So glad to do that. And let's talk about what whips I've been working on then. So I have been, the one that replaced, 
uh, stand for freedom in the scavenger hunt is Sam Sarah's. If I can get it so it doesn't have any glare. Sam Sarah's Swirly Birds and Flowers. So this is one of the um, Circle of Friends kits. I think that is from, oh my God, where's that from? It's out in Oklahoma or Utah or something. Oklahoma, that's what it is. It is the Silver Needle. Couldn't remember that. It's from the Silver Needle. It's one of their, their kits that they had done once. And I had borrowed it from somebody, so I need to get it back to them. But I want to show you where I'm at with it. So, And this is so freaking cute. And I am using my own fabric and floss uh, because I want to send the original stuff back to the owner. But look how cute that is. Look. Just so bright and cheery, and it's going to be a drum when it's done. And I just love it. I just love it. I love that crow. Look at that crow. So absolutely awesome. Looking forward to getting this done so I can make it into a drum. And this is now being worked on weekly. Part of my scavenger hunt. So that's one thing that, oops, forgot the pattern. One thing I've been working on. You know, I hear a little clunk because I'm going to pop stuff on the floor. My next one that I have been working on is um, Santa of the Forest. Now, let me see if I have the picture here. This is one that I knew I had to pull back out and get working on because I love him so. And there he is. Just, oh, the Santa is just incredible incredible and I continued to work on them last time I showed this I just had the bear head hold on I gotta grab my board the bear head and a little bit of his beard and now I've got I'll get it lined up so I don't have to show the whole board you can see I had his head before and some of this. I got all this in here last Sunday and then I started adding some red because I was out of brown. I was just done with brown. I need something else. So I put a little bit of red in and he is just, I love that face. Look at that sweet bear face. So it's being done on a 32 count natural linen and he's going to be worked on every Saturday. So I have Santa Saturday. Anybody want to join me for Santa Saturday and work on a Christmas design? Doesn't have to be Santa, but that would be nice. And we can all stitch on our Santas on Santa Saturday. Do hashtag Santa Saturday 2020. So I'll put that up there. If you guys want to join me, I'll be putting on that hashtag on Instagram and on Facebook. So that was number two that I've been working on. My next one is my Christmas stocking for my husband. Hold on, all my flosses and stuff are in here. So I've been struggling, not with stitching this, but with organizing with this. Um, so, okay, let me show you what it looks like. This is my sled, Christmas sled stocking, which he absolutely loves. He can't wait for it to get done. He keeps asking, are you working on my stocking? <laughs> I'm like, yes, honey, I'm working on it. So of course on Sundays, no, not on Sundays. This is part of my scavenger hunt. So I, I worked on it again last night. So I did work on this. And um, at first I had all my threads sorted a different way. And I, I just, they're not working for me. I had put them in, I, roll, I cut them off the little strips and I had rolled them up and put them in the pocket pages, you know, and was doing it that way. And it started driving me nuts because they kept falling out of the pocket pages. So I made thread drops for them. And I stuck them all on here like this, and they're all wavy because they were rolled up. But I've got two sets, the blues and greens and the reds and browns. So this is how I'm storing them now. And I just made little Christmassy type thread drops for them. And I wrote the colors on the back. And I think I put the, I put the um, symbol too to try to help me know which one is which so I don't have to keep looking at the guide I can just look at my things and they all have a little symbol so glad to 
have it like this, although it's a little stringy and stuff, I think it's going to be a little easier to keep track of. I've punched little holes in, so it's got the main hole like a thread drop, and then I punched little holes in the side to put my extra. So here, let me put it where you guys can see. I don't know, where can you see? Right there, there we go. So you can see it's got like an extra hole for the extras, and this is all I have. So hopefully that works for me, because I'll just keep going back and forth until I figure out how to do these kits and make it easier for myself. Okay, so this is where we're at. I'm not going to take this out of my Q-snap, but we're getting there. Look at that. So I worked on all this. You can see there's some color down here in the birds. I got all that done, working my way around. I want to get all this sky completed. This here is the top of the sled that's going to come around like this, but I want to get all the sky completed and then I will work on working on the sled. So it's coming along. I work on it little by little. Um, this is still part of, like I said, my scavenger hunt challenge. So I have some more stitches I need to get into it today so I can claim another um, scavenger item done. When I get that done, I have to do 200 stitches and because I'm doing half stitches, that means 400. And I haven't finished that yet. And the last one I have been working on is my Early Americans. Now, I made this one, if you didn't know, Vanna over at Little House Needlework, Needleworks and Country Cottage Facebook group, say that real fast, <laughs> is doing a Sunday sampler stitch along. So, Sunday sampler. And, or Sampler Sunday, I think she called it, Sampler Sunday. Sampler Sunday. So you work on a sampler on Sunday. So I chose the Early American. She had a list of which ones you could work on. This is one of them. And it happens to be one she's working on as well. Because she's working to get hers completed. And I have been working on Nathan Hale's house. And this is where I'm at with it. So I finally got his whole red brick in. And... That was the hardest part because that was a lot of stitching between the roof and the house. The rest of it's going to probably be an easy breeze. So come this Sunday, I should hopefully have Nathan Hale done if nothing interrupts my stitching day. And I'll show you the whole thing here. This is where I'm at with it. You guys see? There you go. There we go. So I've got three. I'm working on number four. So... Love this piece, love this fabric. This is a 32 count sand even weave and it is, sorry, it is soft. So I really love it. I normally don't fold it with the stitching out. I don't know why I just did that. Let me fold the other way, here we go. So I really love working on that. So that's what I have been working on this past week and a half or so. Um, I do have lots of plans and stuff in place. Uh, let's talk about, let's see, what do I have near me? Um, okay, I'm going to put you on hold for a second because I'm going to get my purchase and my gift. Hold on. Okay, so I was on one of the Facebook groups and somebody was looking for a particular pattern that was out of print. And I'm not going to mention her name because I didn't get permission, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but she knows who she is. And I loaned her the pattern, and she sent it back to me. And she, along with it, she sent me a stitchy gift that was just super generous. I just was like, oh my word, my lord. I'm thrilled to pieces to get it. And what she sent me was a project bag that she made. I believe she made it. I don't know. I didn't ask her. I'm assuming she made it, but look, it's got a zipper pull on it and the bears and the foxes aren't, isn't that beautiful? Love it. Love the color. Spinal front bag. In fact, I'm going to start using it now. Now that I've shown it, I can use it. And then she also sent me a couple of skeins of floss. Well, right. Gentle arts. They're really nice colors. It's a pinky and a green really pretty for my stuff and then she also sent me a scissor fob so wasn't that so generous that was like super generous of her and there it is there let me see if I can get it held up right there you go so really really beautiful see if I can get this thing to focus on it and get off my face 
probably not. So really, really sweet. Thank you so, so much. I'm glad I can help a fellow stitcher and stitch something that they wanted to stitch and couldn't get hold of. So I was glad to see that she enjoyed getting it and that she, um, I look forward to uh, seeing her completed finish when she gets it all framed and stuff. So that was great. And then I got to this week, um, the first thing I got was the new cross stitch magazine after I saw the flip through of this and I'm not sure who did the flip through. I want to say it was Christine with stitch all the things. Um, yeah, I think that's who it was. I was like, Oh, I need to resubscribe. I haven't subscribed to them since we left Florida and, um, they had a lot of great patterns in this. So I put my subscription back in again so that I could get it. And it has a lot. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't visited anyone's channel that showed it, it had a lot of cute little designs and designers that we know now, Rovaris. Look at the Valentine one. I think um, Mama Joan is stitching that one right now. So she's enjoying her copy. Let's see what else. There was a couple of others that were really, I was like, wow. Cabin in the Woods. Tiny Modernist. Look at that. I think Just Cross Stitch is stepping up their game. They're realizing we want to see designers that we know. We want to see current patterns. We want to see cute stuff. So really glad to see that. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Oh, this is so adorable. Who's this one? Pickle Barrel Designs. Look at the llama. So cute. So Yep, I was glad to see that, that they really stepped up their game. They're really going to get a lot of subscribers back now that they've done that, which is awesome. And then I purchased on eBay another Cricut collection called Winter Thoughts. And the reason I got this pattern was for this right here, which is a quote from um, A Christmas Carol or Scrooge, whichever way you want to my favorite one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time and my favorite one is Scrooge from 1951 with Alistair Sim playing um, Scrooge I watch that every single year absolutely love it and I love that saying and I'm going to stitch that and put it up my house and keep it up all year so glad to have gotten that didn't know that pattern existed until somebody stitched it and showed it and I don't know who but I was thrilled when I saw it, I'm like, oh, how come I didn't know about that pattern? I need to get that. So I did. So that's what the gifts and the purchases. So that was the six bucks that I spent, which wasn't bad, which it probably was more than six bucks. I think I paid four for it plus shipping. I'm going to have to go back and look now, recalculate. I'm going to have to keep a list to make sure that I know exactly what I've spent for what. So I do have a $25 gift card for Hobby Lobby that I got for my birthday. So I'm looking forward to using that. I'm trying to be smart and, and hang on to it until I really need something. So we'll see. So let's see what else. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention there, actually there's two things I wanted to mention, um, was about the wildfires in Australia. Oh my God, my heart is just breaking for those people and those animals, um, with all the wildfires. There are many, many designers and cross stitch companies that are doing patterns and um, sending the proceeds to the Australia's for the relief efforts, please go on and look for those patterns. I have purchased several um, and I will tell you some of them so you can go and look for them. I will try to post links below. I can't guarantee that I'll get to that, but I will try to do that. Um, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery has a koala one. So adorable. Um, Hands Across the Sea is doing a sampler, um, Jane Marshall pant, Jane Marshall pattern for $10 and the proceeds go to Australia. Um, a Ray of Hope is another one that's a koala parrot pattern from Linens and Threads. Um, Aussie Friends, Sassy Jack did a freebie pattern, which was awesome. Um, so there's, and I'm sure there's many, many more. So please go search those out. Um, most of them are PDF, so you don't get anything mailed to you, but the, the money all goes directly to help the koalas, 
help the animals, help the kangaroos, and help the residents of Australia. So please make sure you go and do that. The other thing I wanted to tell you about is, actually I got two more things, see, because things keep popping in my head as I'm sitting here and I didn't write them down. Uh, the first thing is, um, there is a person on Instagram that has an awesome, you need to subscribe to it. It is called Stitch Palettes. And I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put it up here. And she does, and I believe it's a she, takes pictures and then creates palettes, color palettes from the pictures, and then tells you the DMC colors. So if you're looking for colors to do a sal or do something else, and you don't know what coordinates, this person does an awesome job of color coordinating colors so that you can just pick a palette and then go with it. So awesome on Instagram, just found her this past week, him or her, sorry if it's a him and I'm saying her, um, but love it and definitely will be using it. Great resource. So make sure that you go, if you're on Instagram, you go and you follow them for the stitch palettes, which is awesome. The second thing is I'm going to post a quick video um, that I want to show you something I found on FlossTube that I thought was so cool. And I don't know if anybody has seen it or yet, or if I'm just the last person to notice it, <laughs> but I'm going to post it here because I want to show you. Hi guys. I wanted to show you something really quick that I thought was so cool that I just noticed has started to pop up on YouTube. So sorry, this is a little shaky. I am hand holding this. But check this out. So if you're in a YouTube channel, and of course you can see it's Caroline at uh, Friday Off the Grid. Um, you see that little blue box that's popping up right here? Check this out. When it opens, hit it. And look, it puts it right there. And you can move it wherever you want. And not only that, I can go into other pages and she's still there. So now, if I put the volume back on, I turned it off so we could talk, um, I can take her over to any page I want and watch and listen while I'm checking out other things on the internet. Is that not cool? So go check it out. Go over and click that little box and then go to any other page you want. And you can see you can still hear them and see them and you can move their little box anywhere you want on your page. You just click hold and move it. And it is absolutely awesome. So I hope you guys like that tip. Talk to you later. So isn't that the coolest? I thought that was so cool. This last couple of days I have been on my computer and I keep it up in the corner and I'm listening to whatever they're talking about and I'm going through other things on my computer that I need to do. And then if they're showing something I want to see, I can just look and see what it is. I love that picture in picture. That is just awesome. That I can't believe that they finally got something that was just so awesome on YouTube. So I hope you guys will try that and see how it works. It does work great. Um, I would imagine it would work. I don't know if it works on a phone, but your phone's so small to begin with. I don't think so. But if you had an iPad or, or anything bigger with a bigger screen, it would be just awesome. And it is. It's awesome. So let's see. What are my plans? My plans, like I said, is to stitch, stitch, stitch. I have my scavenger hunt. I'm working on that. I'm still working on my first 50. I know some people are up in their 30s um, for getting their stuff done. You go, girls and boys, okay? You just go. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far. I think I'm on number 13. I'm in no rush. I have the whole year. Um, so, And I have other things I want to work on besides the scavenger hunt. So I'm trying to divvy up my time. So Monday through Friday, I normally work on the scavenger hunt. And then Saturday and Sunday, um, I do my Santa Saturday and my um, sampler Sunday. So um, some of that may change up now because I have other things I want to start, including some stuff in February. I may start some stuff this week. And we'll see because I'm excited about smalls and ornaments. I'm just excited about it. I don't know what it is, but I'm just like... I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it. So I have tons of stuff kitted up. In fact, I'm gonna show you what I have kitted up. Hold on. Okay, so these are definitely, number one, I'm gonna preface it by saying these are not ornaments, 
but I have been going through stuff because spring is here and well spring isn't here winter's still here but spring is coming I want to have some stuff and other things that I ran across in my stash as I'm organizing my stuff I'm seeing stuff that I have forgotten all about and so that's what's so great about stitch your stash go through your stuff reorganize it look at it you get rejuvenated to stitch the things you already have so let's go through them real quick the things that I have kitted up that I'm planning on working on in the next month or two so drawn thread welcome spring Flip it this way. So love this design. It's going to be a quickie. It's not that big of a design. And I've already got it kitted up with floss and with fabric. So I want to start that. Um, forgot all about this and wanted to get it started because what? It's 2020. We're going to be voting this year. So I need to have my vote button done. <laughs> So I have that all kitted up here, fabric, flosses. I photocopied my pattern so that I can get going on my button. And I love this. And I love that they have all the different nationalities too. So you've got the US, you've got Canada, you have, I might have to put my glasses on because I can't even see that. Right, so it's got five different buttons you can do. US, UK, Canada, Netherlands, and France. So if you haven't seen this before and you are patriotic for your country, make sure you go out and get this because you can see these buttons are absolutely adorable. I may end up doing, and I thought about this before and I thought it would be super cool, doing all five buttons and then framing them across in the frame as 3D. I think that would look super cool with all the different colors, the different variations of voting. So I may do that. I may do that, but remember, it's 2020, and it's also a 100-year anniversary for women voting, so got to do that. I have that all kitted up, ready to roll, and I might start that today. I might, because it's such a dinky piece. I think I'd take that long at all. Um, Jen Upton was so sweet to give me her strawberry pattern, her summer. You can't even see that, can you? her um, sunshine berry pattern when she finished it so I definitely want to get that done it's so cute love all these berries I really 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 wanted to join Diane to Stitches berry club this year I saw it as soon as I popped up and I seriously considered it but that's not part of stitching stash and the, the I'm, I know I'm crinkling hold on And their club kits usually cost $40 to $50 a month. I'm like, I can't do it. I just can't do it. I'm just going to have to wait. But I'm going to do the berry. This is a 36-count linen. It was hand-dyed by Rolanda on Etsy. And I can't remember the name of it, but it's just a neutral color. So I'm going to do that. I picked out all my colors. I don't have the same colors because I'm stitching from stash. So I'm going to start that berry in the next week or two. And then Cricut Collection. I always have to have a Cricut Collection going. If I don't have at least one or two or three, I'm not happy. So I'm going to do Cricut Collection Spring because I finished my autumn. I never got a chance to do the winter. So I'm going to try to get the spring done before spring hits. And I have planned to do it on this Whisper Blue 28 count. So And I have all my flosses all kitted up here. So they're all sitting here waiting, so I have that to do. And then, of course, if you haven't seen Helen D, or you haven't been on um, the Facebook groups, everybody went nuts, went nuts for the winter chalkboard. So which is this here. This is a hands-on design. It was in a 2018 calendar. And of course, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I gotta have that. That is so cool. It's chalkboard. It is subway art. It is cute, adorable, and I had to have it. So um, somebody went on, said they were gonna start a sale over on the Hands On Design group. We all jumped on board. Kathy Haberman, Kathy Haberman, sorry, Kathy Haber Haberman of Hands On Designs. Um, did a video the other day. If you haven't seen that, jump over and catch her video. She talks about this design 
and she said she's going to do companion pieces to it. May not be this year, but she's going to do them, which is awesome. Can't wait to see what else she comes up with. And we also started a new group for this, for this particular style, called Hashtag um, something. Oh my God, I can't remember. I'm posted up here. Okay, that's the name of the group. Go look for it. If you want to buy this pattern, you'd have to go to the Hershner site and purchase it. It's a PDF and it's available for $4.99 and you can jump in on that sale. It starts, I think, February 1st. This is what I'm doing with mine. I'm going to, because I'm using all my own colors instead of what they're showing. So I've got my gray fabric that I hand dyed myself. I've got all my little colors here, and that red looks so orange. That is red, okay, people? That is red. That is horrible that it shows like that. And then I have my white. Anyway, you're not going to be able to see my colors. but And then I've got sparklies. I'm going to put sparklies in mine. I just dropped something. Hold on. I'm going to put sparklies on mine because I want mine, my snow to have a little sparkle in spots. So that's my plan. Going to start that. And then I have my ornaments that I talked about that I'm going to start. I wanted to show you, this is where I'm getting the ornament patterns from. I had purchased the Just Cross Stitch CDs from Annie's Crafts. They're on Amazon. They have them on. You can go to Annie's, Annie's something. Maybe I'll post that up here too if I remember. Okay, I'm jumping in here with a special announcement because I came online to get the correct name for Annie's site, which is annie'scatalog.com, and look what's on sale. If you love the Halloween collections from Cross, Just Cross Stitch, their CD right now, which has four issues from 2011 to 2014, is on sale for $9.99. And I will include above a coupon code to get free shipping. So if you want this CD for $10 that has the four issues in it, you can use the coupon code um, and it's working today, which is January 14th. I don't know how long that coupon code will work, but give it a shot if you're interested in this CD. Um, who supplies the CDs and you can also get them on Amazon. I've always gone to Amazon. You can probably get them on eBay, but I have three different sets. I have the ones from uh, 01 to 10. I have from 10 to 15. And then I think I have an ornament issue. So, but they are awesome. And I can print off any of the patterns that I want to do. And there's so many different patterns. So I'm going to show you just a couple of the ones that I can't wait to start. So I'm going to have them on my phone because it is a PDF and I can't do it any other way. So. Who doesn't love that little mouse? That mouse is adorable. Right, hands on design chalkboard. You know, I've already started doing chalkboard. Now I gotta finish working on that. Right, just so cute. Let me see if I can get it so you guys can see it. Love that. These are just a few of them. Look at Blackbird Designs. You can get Blackbird Designs. They're on CD. They're on that just cross stitch. Santa riding a reindeer. And then of course, on this, these four, I love these four. They're so simple, so cute. I want to get those done. And of course, I got Halloween ones in there too. There's Halloween. There's Halloween. So, and there's so many more. I have, I printed up, I must have printed up 40. I tell you no lie, I must have printed up, I'm sorry, I'm leaning on the desk. I must have printed up 40 of them to do. And I'm excited about doing them. I just am. So, And they're small and they're easy. So if I need something to take with me when I'm traveling or um, just sitting waiting for things, in fact, that reminds me of something. Hold on. Okay, so we were talking about traveling and doing stitching and stuff, and that I remember I had... Uh, got something else I wanted to show you guys, but I feel like I can't take my stitching with me anywhere because I'm attached to my magnifier. Even with my glasses on, I need the magnifier in order to see stitches. So that's, you know, and it irritates me to no end that I can't take my stitching anywhere. I've tried several times and it just makes it difficult and I give up. Well, I went on Amazon and I purchased high magnifying 
glasses. So these are a 5.0 and they work great. They work great. I can wear them like regular glasses and nobody knows that they're 5.0s and they're highly magnified. And then I purchased one of these lights. Goes around your neck, right? Let me see. Nope, this one. So you can just put it around your neck and then you can aim it. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to blind you guys. Let me turn it off. It's got like three or four different lights and you can bend them anywhere you wanna bend them to add light. And they're not expensive. It cost me 12 or $13 maybe around Christmas time. And I can direct the light where I want to see. And then with my magnified eyeglasses, I can stitch in the car. I can stitch anywhere I want to stitch. So I'm really thrilled to get some freedom and taking my stitching with me now where I don't feel like it's a struggle. So really thrilled about that. But anyway, um, I want to get the ornaments started and I want to get them done and I want to do all the seasons. I have seasons for every single one, but I just got excited about ornaments. And one of the, the ornaments that I got the most excited about was, mm, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is, but it, the Cricut collection has mittens, little mittens. Oh my God. Why didn't I see those before? They're adorable, adorable. There is, um, Two booklets from the Cricut collection called Dickens and Dickens 2, I think. I haven't gotten them yet. They're on my wish list. But they're just about the Christmas Carol and all the different little mini, the little mittens. Um, if I can find it, I will post a picture here to show you what they look like. And I just love them. They are so freaking adorable. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed with the mittens and I have to stitch the mittens. So they're also in here to be done. I've got like, I've got maybe 12 or 13 ornaments, little, little smalls kitted up and I'm sure that they're in there and just so adorable. And then there are other people besides the Cricut collection or Cross-Eyed Cricut that are doing the mittens. There's some Russian designers that are doing them as well. And she, uh, one of them did, excuse me, one of them did, um, what's the, the night before Christmas. What is it? The Grinch. Somebody did the Grinch, which was so adorable. I saw it on uh, Pinterest and then I tracked down who and got the pattern, but it's so freaking adorable. So adorable. But most of the patterns do not have a picture. I do have some Cricut Collection ones that have pictures, but I don't have them right now. So those are my new, what am I all into, is those little mittens. I want to do all those little mittens. Okay, so what else have we got? Um, we did, I talked about a giveaway, my last video, which was this pattern and, and a couple of others that are in here. I think I'm going to hold off to my next video, give everybody an opportunity. Um, please go back to my previous regular floss tube channel, channel, my regular floss tube videos, not my tutorials, but my last regular video. And if you haven't got in on the drawing, make sure you go in there and put in for the drawing for the patterns. Okay. I said I would ship them anywhere in the world. So don't forget to, you have to like the video and I'm thinking it's video here. I'll tell you, hold on. Tell you what video number it is. It is video number 39. Okay. And you must like the video. You should be a subscriber and you have to answer the question. And there's other things you have to listen. You, you have to watch the video and you have to listen because you have to respond the correct way at the end with your comments. You must be a subscriber. You have to be over the age of 18. Don't say giveaway or anything else. Use the words that I've asked you to use. So make sure you do that in another week. I'm going to do that drawing for those patterns. And then I will add some more. I don't want to add some more today because then it becomes, they overlap and it drives me nuts. So we're going to do that. Um, I did let you know that I was going to let you know when I, well, that was a redundant statement. I did let you know I was going to let you know. <sighs> I did say in my last video that I would let you know when I posted more bags to my shop. 
when I'm posting them, they are going quickly. So I've already sold some of them, but this is what I have right now. So I have several like this right here. These are the flap ones. It's got a beautiful floral. This is a beautiful spring bag. It's got the pink inside. It's Velcroed. And it comes in a couple of different sizes. I have this blue and this blue sparkles. I mean, you guys can't see it on the screen, but every flower and every leaf is outlined in silver. And it's just very sparkly. And then the inside is a white, it's a white on white pattern with snowflakes. You probably can't see it in the screen, but it's really pretty. Velcro, this one too. I have a couple of different sizes in it. I have vinyl front bags. This is one of them. This is a Christmas bag, vinyl front. Look at the snowman, how cute. And this bag sparkles too. It's got some heavy sparkling going on. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh yeah, you can probably, there you go, see it? It's got some heavy sparkling going on. And then I have this one. I have a couple of these posted. And this one is the Paisley Purple Paisley vinyl front with the zipper. So those are the ones that I have. There are several others on there. If you're interested, I will post up here my shop name. Uh, prices are really reasonable, I think, compared to other bag makers around. So come on over and take a look. Um, always um, subscribe to my shop, like my shop, so that you, you can get updates in your notifications when I upload new pictures, new bags, new things like that. Um, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. I'm looking at my mess here to see if I'm forgetting anything. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I will be, I ordered, oh, I ordered some special fabric too. It is Moda fabric. It is Blackbird Designs fabric for bags. Um, it is an out of print and I believe it is a Jane Austen. So I'm excited about that. That's Those bags are going to be a little more expensive, but they're going to be well worth it because it is just a gorgeous fabric and I can't wait for it to show up. So I think that's it. Thank you guys. Appreciate you coming by and spending a little time with me and listening to me yap, 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 yap on. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, it hopefully won't be too long before I am back again. I have other tutorials that I'm going to do, so look for those because um, they'll just pop up randomly when I get around to making them. And I think that's it. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love this community. I love you guys. I love that we share this way and it's such a friendly and outgoing community and it's great. And I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.